Hey, it's been a super long time since my sister and I started up this channel, about six or seven years, and lots been happening since then. Um, for example, I've been traveling quite a lot over the last two or three years, so I thought even though we don't make videos anymore and even though I'm sure nobody watches this, why not make a video? And I'm making a video for you using my traveling expertise to help you to speak like a traveler. Now there are quite a few different kinds of people and travelers that you'll meet. Uh, so I've chosen the top five and you can take your pick and even if you don't travel a lot you can use these different ways of speaking to make it seem like traveling is no big deal and visiting new cities and traveling the world is something that you do every weekend. So let's get started. You know, it was just a really authentic experience. We, we were in the middle of nowhere, staying in this hut in the mountains. We were teaching the local kids how to knit socks. You know, there were no other travelers around and it was just this really authentic um, immersion and really living like the locals, you know, and being there, being just completely saturated in their culture. It just really taught me a lot about myself and my own potential, you know. Oh yeah, the Japanese have a word for that. Um, I mean, we don't, we can't really express that feeling in the English language, but they're able to and it's, you know, you really can't discover the richness of language until you're learning other languages and you're speaking with people in their native language. It's such an overture d'esprit to voir, c'est incroyable comment... Sorry, was I just speaking in French just now? I just had to get out of there, you know, I just needed space to breathe. I was so caught up in that daily grind, you know, that nine to five, that I was just becoming really unhappy without even realizing it. And it hasn't been since getting away from all that to, you know, for being in the real world that I've really been able to find true happiness. Oh, that reminds me of the time that I went to Egypt and I saw the, the pyramids there. Have you, have you ever been to Egypt? Oh, well, you really must go. It's like, it's like seeing Rome for the first time or, or climbing the Great Wall of China, you know, these experiences and these places that you will just, you know you'll never forget. And I, I really recommend you going there. It's, the, the photos just cannot do them justice. Oh yeah, I've been to Amsterdam. I don't really remember much about it, but I, I remember the hangover the day after. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Oh, good times. Crazy times. So there you have it, how to speak traveler. I think everyone at some point has been one of these, if not a little bit of all of them. So yeah, you'll be able to fit in with the best of them now. Good luck. <laughs>